This is me again, Moody Boo, and I'm back with a perfume review. Um, I'm going to be doing multiple perfume reviews, you know, several perfumes in one video, but today I just had time to do one, so I thought I'd knock a quick one out, and I am so in love with this perfume. This is by uh, Mason French's Curjon, and this is Baccarat Rouge 540. This stuff is so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> And I also have um, Aqua Vitae Forte. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But I just haven't, you know, I've tried a lot of, I love uh, Pour Les Soirs um, by Curjon. I love that one, but it's a little intense, you know, it's kind of in your face. So I'm always back and forth with that one. But I hadn't found a Curjon that I felt like I loved enough to pop for because they're kind of spendy, kind of. <laughs> Very. Um, <clears throat> but this one I got a sample of. Went through the whole sample of it. It was a 2 ml sample. Went through that in a week and decided I have got to get this. So I did. And this is beautiful. The bottle's beautiful. And I love that it has a little picture on the back side of the label so that you can see through it. It reminds me of a um, uh, Grey Goose vodka bottle. You know, they've got those pretty pictures. I don't drink, but. I love looking at the bottles. <laughs> there are some very pretty liquor bottles. So anyway, <clears throat> and this stuff, it used to be um, an exclusive made out of a pure Baccarat bottle. And there was only like 250 of them made um, of this perfume in this bottle. And once they were sold out, that was supposed to be it. But then they came up with the, the Poe Man's <laughs> 540. And so it's not in a Baccarat bottle, but I think it's the same juice or it's supposed to be. Oh, this stuff is so beautiful. So let me tell you about it. It is. The top is jasmine and saffron. Mid notes are is amber wood. And the base is fir resin and cedar. Really basic, but you get, you smell all of those. Um, actually, it's, you wouldn't think from the notes listed um, that it'd be very sweet, but it does have a slight sweetness to it. Um, maybe it's from the jasmine maybe from the amber wood I don't know but there's a slight sweetness to it um, not a lot not enough to make it feminine or anything just a hint of it and the cedar is so amazing it really reminds me of um, like smelling some dried jasmine that's been left in an old cedar box box you know a hope chest um, some dried jasmine flowers in there and then you know You've got the resins are kind of seeping out of the, the cedar wood to make it a very oily, a very um, rich, moist kind of a dry cedar smell. <laughs> make any sense at all? I know what I'm talking about. Now, I hope you figure out what I'm talking about. It's not, it's not a dry, powdery kind of a perfume. It's definitely more of the moist, um, resinous kind of a smell but it still has that kind of dry background. It's really a unique perfume, I think. And I love wood smelling perfumes. I think you could wear this year round. Um, more summer nights than summer days, but all the other seasons, I think it's totally appropriate for it. It's super unisex. Maybe a tick or two over more on the masculine side because it doesn't have that heavy floral, heavy sweetness to it that a lot of feminine perfumes have. But it's incredible and I get compliments on this like crazy um, I do think it's more for formal occasions um, not working out daytime I wouldn't go there I would definitely wear it for more formal business formal pleasure um, definitely fireside kinky dinkies by the fire you know that frisky stuff that some of us couples tend to gravitate towards when we're all turned on by a good smell. <laughs> so um, anyway, love this stuff. The performance is really good. 
it's kind of beastly when you first spray it, but that it becomes more moderate in its sillage once you've worn it for about an hour. Um, it becomes moderate, but it lasts really well. I'm wearing it now, and I sprayed it... Well, about six hours ago and I can still get whiffs of it. It's just beautiful divine stuff. It is spendy over $200 for a bottle. Um, you know you really got to love this stuff before you should pop for it so definitely give it a sample first. Any of the real spendy ones I wouldn't blind buy. So anyway that's it for me and it's good to be back. It turns out that my job change um, I'm kind of making a lateral move at my work, and that's going to happen probably more like May than July. That's what I'm thinking, and I'm very excited about that. It's a lot less pressure job, a little less money, but a lot less pressure, and um, I'll be going back to just doing my nursing. Um, I've been a manager now for six and a half years, and I just don't like it. I just... Um, um, it's, I don't like being on call more than anything else. Um, on call 24 seven, I'm salary, so I'm on call 24 seven and I get a lot of calls. I spend a lot of time on my days off working and with my grandson and my son living at the house, I'm kind of over that. So I just want to have a peaceful life, do my job, come home, put my phone away and not worry about it again. <laughs> so I want to go to Hawaii every year with a clear, not worrying about any work I left behind, any work I got to do when I get home. Um, nope, I'm really over that. So I am so excited to step aside and let somebody else take the shit because I'm done eating it. Um, anyway, so that's about it for me. So hopefully once May happens or whenever I change uh, my position at work, um, I'll be able to have more time to start posting more videos, you know, at least a couple times a month. So um, I appreciate everybody hanging in there. And hello and welcome to all the new subbers. I really appreciate that since I haven't posted shit in a while, not consistently. So I just really appreciate that. I can't even believe I, I totally expected to lose a bunch of subscribers. But I was so pleasantly surprised that I actually had like, 50 more <laughs> or whatever um, so welcome and thank you for that and hopefully you won't regret it and even if you do all you got to do is unsubscribe so no harm no foul so all right folks um, I appreciate all of you and I will see you soon peace